first thing that you'll notice in its verse, it's Genesis 1, 3, 6, 9, 11, 14, Genesis chapter 1, verses 3, 6, 9, 11, and 14, and it, it's, there's a couple more. But in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and then in verse 3, it said, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Verse 6, God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and divide the waters from the waters. Verse 9, said, let the waters under the heaven. See, God said, God said, God said. But God knew, and we'll never understand the mind of God completely right now, but God knew what he wanted and how he wanted it before he created it. So everything was created on purpose for a purpose. And those verses, God knew what he wanted, then he created it. God created everything by the power of his word after he knew what he wanted. God created the grass, herbs, and vegetation. He said, let the earth bring forth. Not out of him, out of the earth. So he said, let the earth bring forth. Herbs, trees, vegetation, so on and so forth. So... Herbs, trees, vegetation, all that comes from the earth, and it was created out of the earth, right? So we know that vegetation comes from the earth, so if you take vegetation out of dirt, what does it do? It dies. So you go on to where he created the fish. He put them in water. So everything that we see, trees, herbs, even the animals, he created the animals out of the dirt. So if you take the created out of where it was created from, it dies. If you take fish out of water, what does it do? It dies. And we know now that he created the sun in the firmament, which we know now the sun is gases, right? So if you take sun, stars, and all that, if you take them out of the heaven or whatever, the skies, the firmament, as the Bible calls it, they turn into meteorites and burn up coming down into our atmosphere. So the whole principle is, if you take something out of what it was created from, it dies. So the exciting part is, when you get down to verse 26, Genesis 1, 26. It says... Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, the cattle, over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. This is where it gets interesting. So, in John 4, 24, it says, God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship him, how? In spirit and in truth. So, we know that God is a spirit being, right? Tracking? That's simple enough, right? Okay. So, in verse 26, he said, let us create man in our image after our likeness with our characteristics and traits. So instead of everything else up to that point, he created out of something on the earth. So the basis is vegetation, animals, all that came out of the ground. Fish were in the ocean. The sun was made out of gas in the firmaments. Man, he made out of himself. See, God is a spirit. Man, the species of man is not flesh. It's spirit. So who am I? I'm a spirit, first of all, because I come from God. Amen. Think about it, okay? So everything else that God created out of the unseen, from the spiritual realm, he created it so you can see it to what we know today as the earth. God is a spirit, unseen, Man is a spirit, unseen. Human is what we are today. Human comes from humus and man, dirt man. So man was a spirit species. We were created out of God. 
So man, the real me, the spiritual me, is unseen. Everything else on the earth was physical. So we know God is here, right? But we can't see him with our physical eyes. So the only way man could have authority on the earth was to be made out of the earth. So what did God do? He created a body out of humus, human. He created a body. He created a dirt suit for the man, the species, spiritual man to go into. So Adam was created out of dirt, but it was lifeless until the spiritual man went into the body. So first of all, what am I? I'm a spirit. I was put into a body which is seen. So the unseen real me was put into the seen me. Y'all tracking? Yep. Yeah. See, that's why in Corinthians it says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. See, your body is what gives you authority on the earth. See, spirits don't have spirits. You have, God needs flesh and blood to move through on the earth. That was a principle of the unseen works through the seen to bring the will of the Father into the earth. What well, in the Lord's Prayer it says, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. See, we do the kingdom work, king's dominion. We do the kingdom work of the unseen, spiritual, because the real me is spiritual, right? Man is spiritual because we were created out of God. We do the work of God through our body because that's how the will of the spiritual being is accomplished on this earth is through the man, the seen. So the unseen works through the spiritual man in the seen body. Y'all tracking? Is that, is that? See, that's why, who am I? I'm created a spiritual being. I'm created out of God. That's who I am. I'm a spiritual being created by God. I was put in a body to have dominion on this earth. That's my purpose. I'll get into that later. But first of all, who am I? I'm a spiritual being. That's why nothing on this earth can define my identity. My identity comes from God. I got to be careful how I say this next part. It says that each one of us children, see, that's why human beings are the, the, God works through humans. That's why in the womb, the baby doesn't share the same blood as the mother. That's why God needed Mary. See, he only had to put the seed in. The baby was conceived, and it had its own blood system separate from the mother's. That way, Jesus had a pure blood. It didn't have the blood of Mary. It had it, Jesus had his own pure blood. See, that's why, and I talked about it a couple weeks ago on Tuesday, that's why it's so important that Jesus had to come as a man to redeem mankind. God as a spirit doesn't have the legal right to redeem mankind. It had to go through a man to legally redeem man. Amen? Amen.